Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the Ghislaine Maxwell trial that's going on at the moment, Jeffrey Epstein, and the way that it's all been laid at the door of Prince Andrew, when really it should be laid at the door of who's behind it, which is Mossad and Israel. Let's talk about this tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening. Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain. I got my uh, special T-shirt on today. Who killed Epstein? You know, that's a very good question. Uh, I'm going to talk about um, the, the way that the, the case has been handled in media. Uh, and obviously, it's a very scandalous case. And there's been a number of mainstream media reports on both Jeffrey Epstein and, and um, Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, you know, 60 Minutes, you know, major news reports. But the thing they don't go into is, I mean, is what the hell it was all about. Why um, was Jeffrey Epstein given, um, you know, billions of dollars or you know a huge amount of money from les wexner from the mega group which is a group of um you know large zionist uh billionaires in america people like spielberg and les wexner and there's a whole number of them the mega group you can look that up online uh les wexner appears to have been the handler of, of jeffrey epstein and also Ghislaine maxwell's background as well her father robert maxwell was a um you know a renowned uh mossad agent who died under mysterious circumstances and some of his money Money, uh, because he's embezzled a lot of money from a lot of people, which is of course not unusual. Uh, but like that, a lot of that disappeared, and then some have suggested some of it has reappeared in the accounts of Jeffrey Epstein. So there seems to be some kind of, um, you know. I mean, to me, the significance, obviously, the crimes themselves, uh, teenage girls uh, being farmed out to celebrities, obviously, that's scandalous, and, and obviously, that's caught the imagination of the public, but why were they doing it? I mean, you know, I mean, why was this going on? I mean, no, it's, no one is giving billions of dollars just so pedophiles can go do what they want, just for the sake of being a pedophile, particularly in this operation when um, political people like Bill Clinton, um, you know, Prince Andrew, and then a number of celebrities, you know, you know, obviously, you've all noticed in America the way celebrities is on or on message you know on, on american you know like stephen colbert who went to epstein island and many others like stephen colbert bill mayer and stuff they all anti-trump they all say what they're supposed to say uh, because they've all been to epstein island ladies and gentlemen and they have blackmail footage made of them i mean to me that's how it works it's a it's a it's a Mossad operation, or at least an operation of intelligence agencies. And also, when Jeffrey Epstein was first arrested in late 2009, um, the person, I'm not sure the person who prosecuted, I can't remember his name, but he was told it was intelligence and to leave it alone. Um, you know, whether it was, um, you know, CIA or whether it was another foreign intelligence agency, my bet is simply on Mossad. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of operation that, um, you know, these kind of countries um, do, and due to the uh, connections uh, with Ghislaine, Ghislaine Maxwell and her father to Mossad, I, I suspect they're the ones behind it. Uh, obviously, um, the information may have been shared with other intelligence agencies, maybe with the FBI. Uh, and these are the black ops areas of these organizations. I mean, you know, when we talk, when we critique the CIA and the FBI, it's not everybody that's involved in it. But one thing I really wanted you to notice is the way that Prince Andrew, like this whole scandal, if you think of the Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein, obviously they mentioned the name Bill Clinton, but they don't tend to really attack Bill Clinton no, that much, even though he went 30 or 40 times. They attack Prince Andrew because they want to lay this whole scandal at the door of um, the House of Windsor, right? You know, because obviously he was a major figure that they were trying to um, blackmail. Now, I mean, to what extent is Prince Andrew guilty? Obviously, he probably did sleep with this 17-year-old girl or whatever, and obviously it's extremely embarrassing for Her Majesty the Queen and all this stuff, but I mean, you know, that that was the purpose of the operation, and we shouldn't uh, allow the Mossad and their operatives, Epstein and Maxwell, to get away with actually succeeding in their blackmail operation, which is to, um, you know, like, lay this all at the door of Prince Andrew. I mean, you know, he was hanging out with um, Epstein for a long time, and the guy had 20-year-old prostitutes, he had legal age prostitutes who he would hang out with, and, you know, Prince Andrew's probably thinking, this is great, these are, you know, 20-year-old girls, and then, you know, he slipped the 17-year-old in on him, and then, you know, blackmailed him, and then, of course, there's the walks in the park, you know, where Prince Andrew's like, oh, please, Jeffrey, you know, I'm sure we're old friends, think of our friendship. You know, so it's it's classic um, manipulation, and this is how the cabal owns people. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's not like um, the Epstein Maxwell operation is the only one. Um, there are, there's, was Nexium recently uh, in the Bronfman family. They had connections to the mega group, again, Zionists. Uh, and, you know, there are many other operations around the world. There's one in Australia. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but there's one all over there. There are operations like this all over the world. And this is how the cabal controls people. And this is the whole point of the Epstein Maxwell case, in my opinion. So who could get Epstein? I think we might know, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and why is uh, Maxwell?
Maxwell still alive? Well, I think they're covering it up and they're, you know, they're getting away with it due to their control of US mainstream media and Hollywood. Uh, they're getting away with trying to lay this all at the door of um, Prince Andrew, who apparently once, uh, you know, slept with a 17 year old, which I don't know, that's legal in many countries of the world, but he was deliberately set up. I don't think, I mean, it's not great what he did, but you know, there are thousands of other names uh, and they're all Hollywood people and they're all mainstream news people. And some of them are resigning, um, you know, you see that, you see a lot of resigning uh, people going on at the moment. And another interesting thing is that, you know, for example, Twitter recently um, banned people who were like reporting regular reports from, you know, uh, the trial. And also the, the judge at the trial is a, is a Jewish lesbian woman um, who was a member of um, the female version of Skull and Bones. So the kind of, you know, and, and also the, uh, the prosecutor is the daughter of James Comey. I mean, on and on it goes. It's just extraordinary. This is what I think is going on with the Maxwell case, and I just wanted you all to think about that. So that's the report from Tiger Mountain for this week. Thank you for listening.